Good morning, everybody. I'm recording this video from the cabin looking out over a beautiful lake. Hopefully, I'll be doing a lot of that this week. Uh, in this video, you're going to learn how to add some prefab or some pre-created HTML blocks to your course in the right or the left corner. So uh, right now I'm on Mara Brown's page. She's done a nice job with this. There's some people in our district, um, probably primarily John and Ruth Friesen, who have made some blocks that can be placed on anybody's page. So if you look here, um, this little block right here with Infinite Campus, that's a hot link to the campus login um, that Mara's using for students to have easy access to, access to go check their grade. That one is pre-created and available to you. Um, the one down here with her um, name in it and her email address and phone number and her planning blocks. So when she's available or not teaching, that's also pre-created. So there's a whole bunch of them that you can use. You're gonna notice in this assignment that I created a link to this page. I'm gonna scroll to the top. And this is where you go to find the what we call HTML code. You don't have to know HTML to do this, but this is where you go to find the codes to place these blocks on your page. And right at about this point under the number six consistency are the actual blocks. So here's one for Hopkins apps. There's the school logo. And if um, you click on that, it goes to the district homepage. Here's the teacher bio page for your basic information. Um, so I'm going to actually show you how I would place this on a page. So what I'm going to do is I copy all of this. Yes, I know it seems obnoxious because you have no idea what that garbly gook stands for and you don't need to. So I'm highlighting all that text and I'm going to do Command C on my keyboard um, or Edit Copy. And then I'm going to go to my page where I'm going to place this. And in order to place this, I turn editing on. And I'm going to scroll to the lower right hand um, corner where it says add a block. And I'm going to click on add and I'm going to choose an HTML block. Not only can you use the ones that have been pre-built for you, but you can also customize your own. And that's one way to really provide give personality your, to your own page. So this is my new HTML block. I just have to configure it. So I click on the little hand with the pencil and it's going to open up a page for me. And what I am going to be pasting is going to be the HTML, not what I want to actually show up in that block. So I click on HTML, which is um, computer code or web code, and I'm going to paste it. So for me, I do that with a command V. You can also go under the edit menu and you can choose um, paste. I click on the update button and at this point I can now begin to fill in this information. So I am going to highlight this bolded part at the beginning and I'm going to say put in my name in there and I can type it double click on that word and I don't know about how I'm going to do this and then I'm going to start to put in all necessary information. So, and then just so that you know, um, even though the district hasn't really um, made a big deal about this, we, uh, they prefer that in publications to our public that you use your email address with the dot in the hopkinsschools.org. So I'm not going to finish um, editing this as that's going to take time and you don't need to sit and watch that part. But um, that's how you place, and if I click Save Changes here, that's how you are going to place a block um, and we're going to work on so we don't have to scroll back and forth here. And it, but at this point you can also move this block. So if I wanted to move it up to the top of the page, I could click on this little up down arrow and I could click here and I could move that block right to that position. Now one other thing is you can slightly edit a block too. So for example, if I want this block, but I want it to link back um, to the district page, or maybe I want it to link back to my own school page, I could copy this code, and I'm gonna put, go back to this tab to put it in here. So I'm gonna add an HTML block, 
and I go down to my new HTML block and I click on the configure button. Again, I'm going to go into the HTML by clicking here and I'm going to paste this. Now, you will see in this part right here that that address is the link. So when you click on the image, it's going to go to the West Junior High homepage because that's the address to the West Junior High homepage. If you teach at another school, go ahead and go to that school landing page and copy the web address for it and you can just paste it right into this spot here and um, and that will change the hot link. The other thing you could do is when you hover over that image, it's right now it says go to Hopkin, um, Hopkins High School, go ahead and change that to go to Gatewood um, or whatever other school you're putting in there. So then once you're done you click update and if you want to make this image a little smaller you can always click on it and, and just change the size a little bit there. Go down to the bottom and you click Save Changes and then this could be a great um, little block with, oops, that's a different one, sorry. This could be a great little block that maybe I would want to put, if I click on the Move button, I would want to put on the top left just above the navigation block on my page. It's a hot link back to my school page. Um, so there's some tips on how you can place these prefab um, blocks. And thank you to um, Ben Friesen, John Unruh Friesen, Todd Rodebush, and all the others who contributed to this gallery of blocks. And we'll hopefully be posting some more.